So uh, a typical day here in the summer months in the meteorology department is really to uh, observe the weather here. You can see right now we have some, some very deteriorating weather conditions and uh, what we're doing is we are observing and coding this to help support the flight operations that go on not only here at South Pole but all around the continent as well. We also are looking at the climatology of South Pole and Antarctica as a whole. Uh, we've been taking weather observations here since 1957, so over 52 years of continuous weather data here um, you know, has given us a great climatological database in terms of studying the atmospheric conditions, the temperature, the clouds, uh, and, and the trends basically of what's going on on the continent. The, the temperature trends here at South Pole Station are uh, quite puzzling actually, um, but interestingly enough, South Pole since 1957, we've actually been getting a little bit colder every year. Uh, we're actually about a degree and a half uh, Celsius colder now than when we started taking records back in the late 50s. No one really knows why that is happening, but also, oddly enough, 2009, we just compiled our annual temperature data and our weather data for 2009, and that was actually the warmest year on record down here at South Pole. So even though we are trending towards the colder end in terms of the long term, in the short term it has been very variable and we have seen warmer than usual temperatures here. What we're seeing on the coast of Antarctica is very similar to what we're seeing up in the Arctic as well. Uh, temperatures are going up by as much as say six degrees. We're seeing large blocks of ice that are breaking away from the ice shelves here along the coast, especially towards the Antarctic Peninsula, um, out towards South America, that area of the Antarctic especially. But yeah, here in the interior of the continent, and only at South Pole are we seeing it, be, seeing it colder. Other interior stations like Vostok or Dome Fuji, they're still trending warmer as well. And so that might actually be a link to, say, the ozone hole, which is most prevalent here at South Pole as well. There are theories that those two are tied together, but nothing proven as yet. Oddly enough, we don't really get very bad weather here. Um, it's either very cold and very calm and clear, or it's kind of like today, the winds are picking up a little bit and it gets foggy, but with the winds and the fog come warmer temperatures. So I would say the worst weather is a mix of the two in the uh, heart of winter time when maybe the temperature is still a little bit cold, maybe minus 60, minus 70, and then those winds shift and start picking up and we can see wind chills down around minus 150.